Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan taking back in with another video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video. You guys are currently looking at the legs of Hassan Mustafa and one day out from the Puerto Rico Pro. And Hassan looks shredded, man. I doubt we've ever seen this level of detail from Hassan. And just look at the skin, guys. Look how grainy the skin is, man. And I'm very, very excited to see Hassan Mustafa hop on that stage tomorrow. And today we have a lot of the classic physique, the 212 going on at the Puerto Rico Pro. We will talk about that at the end of this video. But Hassan says even if he wins this show, he's still going to do the Orlando Pro as well as the Arnold Classic UK. And I'm very excited to see him next to James Hollingshead at the Arnold UK. Granted, James Hollingshead is able to nail it. Now, another guy at one day out from the Puerto Rico Pro is going to be Fabian Rabia. And this guy has a very incredible structure coming from the Classic Physique Division. But I'm just not sure how he's going to stack up against these guys. He has a good enough structure to be up there fighting for the win with Hassan, but not really sure how he's going to look next to Theo, Andrea Muzzi, as well as Max Charles. I believe I had him placed in fifth in my prediction video. Now, next, we're going to talk about Cebu Sisu Catello. Now, this was taken prior to prejudging. And when I put up my prejudging video, a lot of you guys said that he was really, really off. So what do you guys think about this here? Is Cebu Sisu Catello off? I don't think he's off. He may not be as conditioned as Mohamed Nasur, who is probably going to win the show. And Mohamed also looked a lot more impressive backstage, taking nothing away from Cebu Sisu. But I definitely want to share this with you guys because here we can definitely see his physique a lot better than the video that I had. And in the next update of the day, I don't think this is recent. It could be, but this is Charles Griffin. And Charles just looks incredible, man. This front row legs is going to be the first pose that the judges see. And this is really, you know, going to make them take a look at you. Charles come out and hits this front relax. He's definitely going to stand out in a lineup of almost anybody except the top six at the Mr. Olympia. Now, the next update of the day, this is a recent update from Quentin Araya, Quint Beastwood, who is just looking beastly. And I mean, when you guys look at this physique, especially in his front double and front last spread, I mean, what can you say? The only thing that really comes to mind is Quentin needs a little bit more muscle maturity and a little bit more detail in the upper body. His quads are always very, very conditioned, even the glutes in the back from behind. But the upper body, especially the abs and, you know, the obliques need a little bit more definition. Now, the next update of the day, this is probably going to be the funniest story you guys see today. This is Fuad Abiyad and guy sister Nino doing a little football drill. And if you guys watch the podcast, you know that these guys are always into it about everything. So I thought this was very funny and I didn't want to share it with you guys. Do you guys think this was a tie? because they did say it was a tie between them two. Now, in the next update of the day, this is recent from Horse MD or Marcelo DeAngelis. And I want to let you guys know that he has recovered from the virus and he still is prepping for the Expo Pro Super Show. And I'm very excited to see this guy make his pro debut in the Classic Physique Division. Hopefully, the virus don't really affect his look too much and hopefully he's able to bring his best to this stage. But Marcelo's going in with a full head of steam. Now, the next update of the day, this is a update from Branch Chen. I've also seen him called Chen Kang, but Chen looks incredible here, guys, and he was listed to be competing at the Vancouver Pro, but it seems like he's struggling to get his visa right now. We're still about six to seven weeks out from this show, so there is a possibility that he could get it, and I haven't talked about him prior on the channel, but he is a very incredible classic physique athlete, and back in 2019, he actually placed top five at the Mr. Olympia in the Classic Physique Division. And that was incredible, guys, because he honestly didn't bring his best conditioning to that show. So if this guy came in a lot more conditioned, you know, who knows? But it is becoming a lot harder for the shorter guys to excel in this division. I'm actually not 100% sure how tall this guy is. But the division has developed a lot even since 2019, you know. But I'm excited to see this guy hop on stage. Hopefully he can get that visa and get to the Vancouver Pro. Now, with the next update of the day, this is the latest from Courage Opara, one of my favorites in the Classic Physique division. Now, Courage did slip at the Mr. Olympia. I believe he placed like 14th, 13th, 14th at the 2021 Mr. Olympia in the Classic Physique division. But at the Arnold Classic, he placed in fourth place right behind Logan Franklin. Now, during this offseason, it looks like Courage has already brought his arms up a bit, but this is offseason, so we're not sure if this is going to stay when he dies down. But Courage needs to bring up the chest a little bit and the back. And I believe he can be up there with the top guys. But the Classic Physique Division is so competitive, guys. And it seems like they're mostly focused on skeletal structure and conditioning. You know, that's just what it looks like to me. It looks like they're almost looking like who is the closest physique to Chris Bumstead. But Courage looks incredible here, and I'm excited to see him hop on the stage. Now, switching over to 212, these are the latest updates from Keon Pearson. 
who just looks mind blowing. Keon has some of the greatest genetics and bodybuilding history. And I'm pretty sure you guys can all agree with it. And the main thing about Keon that I say in every single update, it seems like his head is on straight. Keon seems very, very focused. You know, we've all heard that Keon gets into his own head into the last couple of days of prep, but Keon is looking very, very scary this year. And I do believe he will be doing the Texas Pro in the 212 division to try to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. Now, the next update of the day, I did want to share this update with you guys. Lucas Coelho has had the bicep surgery and he is in recovery. And once he recovers from that, he will begin his prep for the 2022 Mr. Olympia. And I do believe he will be competing in the 212 division. Now, prior to this, Lucas was going to hop into an open show. So maybe potentially we could see him in the open in the future. But I just wanted to share this with you guys and glad that Lucas is recovering. Hopefully he has a speedy recovery. Now, the next update of the day, this was shared recently by Ping Young Long. Ping looks incredible, man. Look at the lats. Look at the biceps. And for some reason, if you guys can't remember who Ping Young Long is, he did compete at the God. 2021 Thailand Pro, which he won. And look at the other two guys in his lineup. The 212 division, these guys are so conditioned, so consistent. And I'm not sure of the names of the other two guys, but they could probably be in the top five at the Mr. Olympia in the 212 division. This Thailand Pro has some very, very incredible talent. Now, with the next update of the day, this is a small update from Seth Ferrosi. Now, of course, Seth Ferrosi is retired. But he looks incredible, man. And if you guys don't follow Seth Ferrosi, he does a lot of what he calls functional workouts, which is pretty much CrossFit. He does like a mile run, 100 push-ups, 100 pull-ups, you know, things like that to maintain his physique. And he did say he's only on TRT and maybe a little bit of GH, but Seth Ferrosi definitely looks incredible. And I wouldn't be surprised if someone made a video talking about he's coming back. Now, in this video here with updates from the Puerto Rico Pro and the Classic Physique Division as well as 212 because I will only be covering open. It's looking like the top two in the Classic Physique Division are going to be Carlos Domar and Emmanuel Riscati. Camilo Diaz was there as well, so it looks like he's probably going to be fighting for third. And in the 212 Division from left to right, we have Abdullah Al Saif, Bo Lewis, Oswaldo Gonzalez, and Emmanuel Rodriguez. Looking like it's going to be between Bo and Oswaldo. Abdullah and Emmanuel, I believe they competed in New York. Both of those guys looked incredible there. Emmanuel is a young guy, a very, very good poser. He actually probably made his pro debut this year in Indy. That's very possible. Not 100% sure on that. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video, man. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness, and I'm out.